hi everybody, this is my first vlog, or I should say vlog, whatever everyone's calling it, and this is to talk about gastric bypass. I've watched YouTube a lot, and I've watched people's before and after, and it just really inspired me, I thought it was fantastic, so here I am trying to do my own, and I hope you like it. So, it's now... November, I had to think there, it's now November 2011, I decided in late October to have a gastric bypass, I opted to have it done privately purely because I had a bad experience on the NHS, uh, if you don't know that's in the UK, London, um, that was two years ago, I had um, my gallbladder taken out and it was just awful and I just knew if I was going to have the gastric bypass that I would have to do it privately. It's just my personal choice. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it on the NHS or have it done that way. It's just everyone's different. So do what's right for you because what I've done is right for me is privately. Um, so yes, I went for a consultation on the 25th of October. One day later. I got a phone call um, confirming, actually, would you like to have the operation? I was like, wow, this is definitely private, isn't it? Because on the NHS, you'd be waiting years. You'd probably die because you haven't had the operation. So anyway, I was really excited and very scared. Because um, it's quite daunting, you know, it's a very serious operation. Um, so yes. And we decided to have the operation in on, I should say, the 27th of December. So all my friends are saying, oh my God, you're not going to have, you can't eat Christmas dinner. And I was like, well, I'm 26 years old. I think I've had many beautiful Christmas dinners. So missing this one doesn't bother me. It's all commercialised anyway. <laughs> but hey, God, I sound really bar humbug then, but I do like Christmas. But this Christmas will be fine. It'll be perfect while I have my chicken soup um, <laughs> before the operation. So anyway, so before the operation, um, I think on the 22nd, I have to go in for a routine checkup, like blood tests, um, all sorts of things just to make sure I'm okay that I won't die on the table which is a good thing it's a good thing that they do that because um, but yeah who wants to snuff it on the table so I'm very 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 excited like I keep on saying but I'm also very scared very very scared but it will be worth it because life can't go on like this and a lot of people say to me well, why don't you diet and exercise? And I've been there, I've done it, I've done the Atkins. I had a stinky breath. I felt like passing out. I've done Herbal Life, which is just milkshakes. I lost like two stone and then I put on three stone. You know, it was such a yo-yo. But anyway, <clears throat> I've tried many diets and it just hasn't worked for me. Um exercising it's a no-win situation because when you're that big I need to lose at least three stone to be able to do the exercise because, because my legs are quite big if you do the exercise now it's rub 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 and then I get red raw and then I get sore and it's not excuses it is actually a fact it does happen to me um, so I'm, I'm just in a circle of I can't do anything it's not nice um, and I don't wish it upon anyone really so um, and also this is another thing I want to talk about I do believe that it can be genetic um, my family's fat my sisters just had a gastric bypass four months ago and while they were doing the operation they actually found a second stomach which I know it sounds like I'm making it up, but it's not. She really did. And that's why she didn't feel full. So we just all laugh at her, calling her a cow. Because basically cows have like lots of stomachs. 
But on a serious note, I don't know, maybe I have it. I'm not saying I do because she's had it, but you just don't know until you have the operation, maybe there's a reason for it. So I believe it is genetically um, in me to be big. I think I've got big bones, I'm six foot tall, and I'm just a brick house. I'm just, everything is the whole, the, the same size. I'm just, bam, there. Uh, and another thing that I wanted to say, a couple of things, was my friend, she eats basically the same as I do. If not, she's a picker. She eats lots of sweets and everything. She's skinny. She's a size 10, UK size 10. And she's just beautiful and everything. So it makes you think, why can two people have exactly the same things, but one's going to be beautiful, toned, and the other one's going to have a big fat gut? Um, a lot of people probably do think, well, you're just being lazy, you're overeating, and just get off your ass and do something about it. Well, to be quite honest, and this is what I was saying to the guy, uh, to my doctor in the consultation, at the age of four months old, I was put onto skimmed milk. That's right, I was basically on milk, which is like water, because I was just getting so fat. I had this huge, big double chin, which I still have, but as a baby, it really looked big, you know, and the midwife was like, she's just getting too big. So, yeah, I can understand where people come from, because they're not a fat. You know, you can't really relate to some, I can't relate to a skinny person, because I'm not skinny, so I can't really say anything. I think you can only judge or have your say and have an opinion on something if you've been there. And if you haven't, then you just have to shut up. <laughs> Simple, really. But anyway, so I'm really excited about the operation. I will try to blog as much as I can, um, talking about how I'm feeling, uh, my worries after the operation. Um, everything basically what other people do in the videos uh, but you have to remember this is all new to me so I might do it a little bit different than everyone else but you never know but anyway I'm gonna try and show you my body but I have to sort of be careful because my office is downstairs and I live on a road where there's a lot of people walking past now I don't really fancy scaring the little children because it's already been Halloween so I'm a little bit late doing on this video. Anyway, so uh, a bit about me, my name is Nicole and I've made the video called uh, Make Me Beautiful because I want to be beautiful. <laughs> you know, I want to, everyone says to me, oh you've got such a pretty face, you know, but it's like mm, shame about the rest. So I kind of want to be beautiful in, out, everywhere. So, and with the operation, it is make me beautiful. That's all I basically want. Um, I'm six foot tall. Like I said, I'm very broad. Even if I was thin, I've got quite big bones. And yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna stand up for you. And then you can see me, I'm a size 28. Don't forget, if all the people in America, I don't know what size that is in your country, but 28 in the UK, and I think it's 34 in Europe. I don't know, I'm just guessing there. And my weight, once again, Americans, I have no idea in pounds. I'm definitely over 300 pounds, like 335, which I believe is 24 stone. I don't know. I really don't know, which is not very good. I'm not on a good start in this video if I don't even know what the hell I am. But anyway, I'll find out. And, okay, um, I'll talk to you a little bit more after I've showed you my body. And I've made a website as well, which I'll go through with you in a minute. Okay, so let me just move the chair. And hopefully no one's looking. So, I've just got normal trousers on. I don't know if you can see. So this is just normal. I think because I'm tall, I can carry it off quite well. So, which is good. 
I don't know if this will help. Oh, that's a lot better actually. <laughs> I'm really worried that whoever walks past is going to see me. Okay, let me move this over here. Because like I said, I'm really scared that someone from outside is going to see me. Anyway, this is me. You can see there. Got a bra on, got a fat. At the back. To the side. Look at that, see? Okay, <laughs> I don't really think I can show you too much because I'm really worried that someone's going to walk past the window and think I'm doing something. But um, I'll try, I'll try, <laughs> I'll try and carry on a little bit more so you can understand how big I actually am. Okay, so stomach, look at that. I can do because I'm really worried that someone's gonna walk past and see me so anyway you've seen my body it's not lovely <laughs> but it is what it is and the main thing is I've started um, the ball rolling and it's fantastic it's really 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 good so I'll probably and uh, there's a website and bear with me for one minute I'm just doing it as we, as I uh, do this blog. Good, I'm really not making any sense tonight. Okay, uh, my website is uh, Nicole Jenkinson with a middle school, make me beautiful dot weebly dot com. Now you can find this. I'll probably try and put this down the bottom. You can go onto my website. There's clearer pictures of me in my knickers, um, no bra, but don't worry, it's nothing naughty, got the hands over the nipples, <laughs> but it gives you a clearer idea of what I look like, and hopefully if you're actually seeing this video in a year's time, you can see what I did look like, and hopefully what I will look like soon. Um, I'm not too sure what my goal weight is, but... Definitely half the size that I am now has to go. Just has to definitely just go. Um, I wanted to also say a big thank you to Nicole. Funny enough, same name as me, who's in America, and she uh, she still does do a lot of vlogs about the gastric bypass. She originally had it done because she needed a knee operation, and. She is the only one who replied to my message. I sent lots of people uh, messages and I just wanted to talk to someone because it's a very scary and daunting place to be when you have no one to speak to about your thoughts and your fears and you just want to know more about the operation so you know what you're getting yourself into and no one messaged me back, which I thought that was naughty. <laughs> well, it's not naughty, it's not very nice. So, but she messaged me back. So, a big thank you to Nicole, who actually acknowledged me and is here talking and, and helping me and guiding me. And she's just fantastic. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, Nicole. And for the other people that didn't message me back, hey, never mind. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go, my dogs are gonna bark now. Because my mum's back. Keep watching me and take care and God bless.